Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a new video for you and it's regarding this new Etude House Play Colour Eyes Palette. Now this is the Cherry Blossom Edition. So if I just show you guys, do a little zoom in. So this is how it looks. This is the packaging. And on the back you have the eyeshadow names and of course like um, the directions for how to use it and all that stuff so I'll show you guys how it looks inside so once we open it this is the packaging this is the design it's got cherry blossoms and like a window play color eyes etude house the brand and on the back again the names of the eyeshadow so, if we open it, it comes like this. I'm just holding here just so it doesn't fall off. But we got the mirror, the 10 eyeshadows, and the plastic insert to show us the names. And of course, sponge applicators. So, if we just take these off, and I'll show you guys the actual eyeshadow colours. So we've got 10 eyeshadow colours and we've got 4 brand new eyeshadows. So guys, the new shades in the palette are this one, which is called The End of Spring. Next to it we've got Cherry Blossom Rain. And the other two is this one. Now this is Cherry Blossom Festival. And the last one is Popped Cherry Blossom Popcorn. So. As you guys know, it's got four brand new shades, and the rest of the shades are the best colours of the Look At My Eyes edition of their eyeshadows. So we've got a great mix, we've got one, two, three, we've got three mattes, as well as this one. This one's a matte, however these are just matte shades, but this one's got gold specks. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, I'd say glittery shimmery shades however this one and this one are glittery as well as this one however this one I found that it was quite chalky and it's got a bit of a fallout as well as this one's got fallout as well so what I've already done for you guys is that I've swatched these eyeshadows on both of my eyelids one eyelid I put primer on and the other eyelid I kept it as it is just so you guys can see the pigmentation of the eyeshadows so I'll show you those clips right now The pigment on this isn't really strong. So this eye is the one with no primer. So I'll show you guys how it looks. And this is the eye with primer. Now, to be honest, I don't see much difference from either eye, but I can tell that this one has a bit more glitter pickup than this one. The color's really pretty though, it's like a rose gold. So let's move on to the next color. So I've just cleaned my eyes with some baby wipes. Now moving on to the next. Moving on to the next eyeshadow, we've got this matte peachy coral colour. So just using my finger, I'm just dabbing on the palette and I'm applying. Ooh. Ooh. That's not too bad, not too bad. It feels quite smooth as well as you apply 
the formula of this particular eyeshadow. It's really pretty, it's like a rose petal pink. So I've moved on to the eye with no primer and just from applying it once I can already see that the pigment is not as great as the other eye. So just dab in a bit more eyeshadow. Yep, I can definitely tell a difference. This eyeshadow in particular is better to use it with a primer than without a primer. So I'll just show you guys up closely. So this is the eye without no primer. And this is the eye with a primer. So I don't know if you guys can see much of a difference, but I can definitely tell. So moving on to the next eyeshadow. So moving on to the third eyeshadow in the palette. It's this one, it's like a mauve movie. How do you say that? Mauve color. Reminds me of like a guava, guava fruit. So this eyeshadow is also a matte. And once again, just using my ring finger, gonna dab into the eyeshadow and apply. Ooh, this is like a blush color, sort of. But yeah, this reminds me of like a color you'd use for your blush, like a wine color, sort of. Okay, this is my second application. That's pretty. I like that. It's a nice matte colour. You could even use this for your crease. It's a good colour. Now, moving on to my other eye. The eye without no primer. So, let's see. How do I feel about this one? I feel as though... I feel as though there's not much difference between these two colours. With the primer and without the primer. I think it's got a good intensity without the primer as well as with the primer. So this is perfect. So I'll just give you guys a quick look. So this is without the primer and with the primer. Oh, <laughs> you can see where I've put the eyeshadow primer. So let's move on to the next eyeshadow. So moving on to the fourth eyeshadow. We've got this matte brown chocolatey colour. I find that this is the most boring colour in the palette just because I don't really like dark eyeshadows. However, this would be great, you know, to do a smoky eye maybe or to pop it in the crease. So let's just see, this is my eye with a primer. This is one finger, ooh. I thought it would be like a darker brown. It's not bad. So that's just with one application of my middle finger. Let's go in with a second finger application. Okay. Not bad, not bad. This eyeshadow is actually not so bad. The colour is not that strong. So I do find there's a bit of a fallout though. I don't know if you guys can see that a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so once again, the pigment is not as great without eyeshadow primer compared to with primer. But it's not a bad colour and there is definitely quite a bit of a fallout. Just dust that off. So I'll zoom you guys in. So this is without the eyeshadow primer and this is with the eyeshadow primer. So this feels like a little like milk chocolatey added with a bit of milk <laughs> to make it lighter. And this one's definitely more pigmented, but it's not a bad colour, I like it, it's pretty. It reminds me of like henna, the henna colour, yes. Brown henna, hmm. So, moving on, moving on to the next eyeshadow colour. The fourth colour in the eyeshadow palette. This one's pretty, it's like, um, sort of like a dark, goldy, brown eyeshadow. This reminds me of one of the eyeshadows in the Play Colour Eyes Juice Bar palette that I also did a swatch on. So, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Really, really pretty. You guys, this colour is amazing. I really like it. It's really pigmented. It's like copper bronze sort of colour. So this is with primer. And this is literally, it was just one thing. I touched the eye plan. I didn't have to go back in. So let's see without primer. Okay. This colour definitely has better colour payoff with eyeshadow primer. This is just with one dab from the eyeshadow palette that I went in. But you can definitely tell You can definitely tell it's less pigmented than this eye. What do you guys think? Hmm. So let's start with this eye. Let's, let's change it up a bit. So moving into our sixth eyeshadow in the palette. Again, this reminds me of the other eyeshadow in the Play Colour Eyes Juice Bar palette. It's really similar. So let's see how that does. Ooh, that's really pretty. Really, really pretty. So let's see. Let's see. Ooh. 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 This is really nice. Okay guys, so this is with primer, without primer once again. It's definitely got a bit more pigment, but what I find is that this eyeshadow has got like basically made up of glitter, so it's pretty much transparent. So if you want opacity in the eyeshadow once you apply it, you just have to apply it, you know, very, um, how do you call it? Pack it on as much as you want to get it opaque because other than that it's it reminds me of like just like a glitter glue eyeshadow type if you understand what I mean so let's move on to the seventh eyeshadow so this is the what do we have one two three four five six seven seventh eyeshadow Ooh. Ooh, this is pretty. Mm. It's actually not as pigmented. It's very, it's definitely shimmery. And it comes off as like a light pinky coral shade. That's really nice. Mm. 
I think that this eyeshadow to get better colour payoff with or without primer you definitely have to keep applying as much intensity as you like so this is how it looks without eye prim eyeshadow primer and this is with primer to be honest I don't see much difference but yes I don't think that this is the most pigmented out of the bunch almost done this is the eighth shadow so it's pink pink with gold specks in between. Now this is actually a matte shade, so let's see how this goes. Ooh, this is nice. This could even be perfect for the crease as well. Without eyeshadow primer, it's definitely less pigmented. You can't really see it, it's just like a light wash. Whereas this one's more pigmented. So this is how it looks. And this is the other one. So the ninth eyeshadow in the palette is again like a hot pink glitter shimmer shade. This definitely looks like the most pigmented out of all of them if you just view it from the packaging. So let's see how this looks. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Not as pigmented as it looks on the palette. Let's see. Hmm. This colour is definitely good for like a night out eyeshadow look to give your lid a bit of pop. Not bad, not bad. I'm going into the other eye. Hmm. I feel like this with or without primer doesn't make much difference. Again, it's pretty pigmented, it's good, but you definitely have to build up on it a bit. So I'll just give you guys a, a glance. So this is without primer. And this is with primer. We have come to a closure. So this is the last eyeshadow in the palette. It's like a white pearl colour, shimmery. This is how it looks. Ah, looks kind of chalky. Very chalky. It's actually the only chalky one in the palette so far. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, it's definitely light. If you want more coverage, you definitely have to build up, and definitely it's quite chalky. It's got a bit of fallout as well. Let's see without primer. So, without primer, definitely it's very light not much you can see popping out. I'd say you definitely need a primer for this eyeshadow and this is with primer. This is with primer and yes it doesn't have much pigment to it so it's an eyeshadow you definitely have to build up upon and I'd say this is actually the least favourite of mine in the whole palette. I feel as it's, it's not 
very great compared to the other eyeshadows in the palette. It's not very pigmented, not as exciting as I would have thought. I would have thought it would have been good for like a brow bone colour. But because it's chalky, I don't know how I feel about it. So that concludes the swatches with the eyeshadow primer and without the primer. Well, that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you out in deciding whether this palette is for you or not. Hope you found the video useful and it made you decide whether you want to buy the palette or not. And I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!